Spring has arrived. The season of rebirth and renewal. The beginning of a new cycle. Everything in nature is slowly coming back to life, enticing us to do the same. As I feel my creativity shifting and waking up, I can't help but use what nature has to offer in order to create simple decor items that make me feel this shift and connect to it even more. When flowers are starting to wither, I have a hard time letting go of them. There are always ways to use them for creative projects and to make them stay a little bit longer with you. Life keeps growing and blooming on the farm in so many ways. Spring is also the time of year when our new calves are born. Most of our cows should have one new baby this spring. As I'm talking to you, we have four new ones already. Three boys and one girl. All of them doing well. It was my birthday earlier this month. I turned 39. I was born between winter and spring, at the end of a cycle and the beginning of another. I received several beautiful bouquets of flowers that day, and it made me wonder why women so often receive flowers as gifts. Why flowers, and nature in general, are so often associated with womanhood. Is it the delicacy, the poetry, the softness? Is it something else entirely different? Whatever it is, I like being born when flowers are blooming. Most of my flowers are withered now, but again, I couldn't let them go without a little tribute, in my own way. An offering to the land, to thank all the people who have thought about me. A little moment of gratitude for nature's presence, and giving the flowers back to the earth, where they belong.
We have recently planted 11 rose bushes in front of our house. Um, I don't know if it's going to work, <laughs> we'll see. I'll let you know, but uh, if it works, it's, it's going to be really, really amazing. Um, it's going to be so beautiful to have roses in front of the house. Um, I'll show you the result in a few months, fingers crossed. With spring coming, um, I'm thinking about my garden again. I'm thinking about gardening and planting flowers and I, I want to plant um, aromatics again this year. I started last year a little bit, but it was the first time I did it, so I made some mistakes. <laughs> and I really, really want to try and plant more aromatics this year, along with other plants and flowers. I had a driving lesson this morning. Just wanted to give you a quick update um, in case you were wondering since my video in January. Um, I still don't have a driver's license because I used to live in the city and in France when you live in the city you don't necessarily need a car. You can do without. You can definitely live without a car which is not doable anymore now that I live in the countryside and with a baby it's just not possible it's progressing well um, again fingers crossed I'm hoping I'll get my license uh, this summer I'll let you know <laughs>